and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Thank you for clicking on me and for choosing me to spend this time with. Welcome to my channel, Thomason's Once Upon a Nursery, where anything can happen. <sighs> if you're a regular, you know what I mean. <laughs> All the time, just stuff just happens. I don't know. I don't know. Why does my hair look like octopus arms right now? I am Tamara. Apparently I'm an octopus. I am the head octopus. <laughs> Top dog and your host as always. If you're a returning subscriber, I think you know how much I love you. And if you don't, let me just tell you. It is more than you could possibly imagine. More than that. <laughs> love you guys so, so much. For real. Today is Tuesday, right? So we know what day it is. It's Tiny Reborn Tuesday, our Mel's hashtag from Melamore Nursery. <clears throat> and hanging out with me today is our little Pippa Luke Undine and her little puppy Pip. Pip and Pip. Pip and Pip. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh yeah i'm gonna i have this uh i have this i don't have any pillows small enough for her and i just felt weird just to like you know lay her on this thing but yeah so um here we go man so yeah we have this little puppy his name is pip he is a chihuahua chihuahua Chihuahua. Uh oh. Here comes Stella. <laughs> Look at Moxie in there. Stella, can you guys see him back there? Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. So, uh,. Alright you guys, before we get started, make sure you stay to the end of the video for updates about future things on my channel. And also, I have the name reveal for Gia's Bunny, so make sure you stay to the end to see if I say your name you pick. And I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all the suggestions. It was really fun picking them. I wrote all of them down. Pretty sure I wrote all of them down. I did go back through the comments, um, like from the, the past video where I said to, to start, you know, so I'm pretty sure I got everybody. So I just wanted to tell you, thank you guys so much for all the suggestions. I really, really had a lot of fun choosing. So stay to the end to find out when I chose. So today for our sweet Mel, who hasn't been feeling well you guys and you know if our Mel isn't feeling well we must send lots of prayers for our little angel yes because Mel is a sweet little angel sweet little angel man I love you <laughs> you're great come on now my dogs are over here playing with the ball I don't even know what to say it's gonna be jingle jangling sound like Christmas up in here or something so I'm stalling because this video is going to be so short if I don't. So, today for Tiny Reborn Tuesday, I'm going to be putting on my little Pippa Luke. Oh, wait. Um, I got her from AliExpress. Uh, um... From uh, that uh, Mayomo store. Yeah. Remember? Had a little box. Looked like a shoe box. She's... <laughs> She's nine inches long. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I did put some weight in her. Just a little bit. Pull out her stuffing. She's all squishy now, which I'll show you when I take her out of this. But, um... 
first, um, I will show you what I'm going to put on her. And first of all, I have this little pink cardigan that I hope is going to fit her. We may have to... Uh, it should fit. I'm going to say the sleeves should be okay. Because I know Beck doesn't like the sleeves um, over their hands. So I try to make sure they don't go over the hands. <laughs> I care about my viewers, and Beck is very special to me. She is my special friend. I love you, Beck. I also have... What's that? It's a hat. And I hope all this stuff fits her. This stuff I originally got for the twins. I actually have two sets. Uh, different colors. I'm sure you've seen them, but I, I think this is going to fit her because they're 10 inches and she's 9 inches, so, yeah. All right, well, um, also these little, I don't know what these are, booty sockies, socks, I guess, little socks, I don't know. Dogs and cats and dogs and cats and dogs and cats and dogs. And then, and, oh, my foot's itching. I went outside while I go. I think a mosquito bit my foot. <sighs> it's dark time. It's dark time, y'all. <laughs> hey, give me that ball. <laughs> it's getting late. It's like nine something, I think. I don't remember what time. It is, uh, oh, it is 9.22. It is nine. 22, 23, I lied. <laughs> hey, Tamoria, look at my screen now. I was going to show it to you. Oh, you guys want to see something cool? Hold on. Watch this. I'm going to show you my lock screen. Isn't that cool? And I've been, I know like <laughs> Tamoria really wants to see this. So I've been like stalling. Look at it cute that is. This little dress I have to put on her. I got this from AliExpress. I think it was like a dollar or something. It's uh, got the purple bow at the top and it's got like a little pinafore and it's um, I want to call those doves. And it's got those little purple puff flowers and some little triangles. I think they're supposed to be like trees or mountains or something. I don't know, but whatever. <laughs> it's got the... Um, do you mind? They're flying bears that kill each other. <laughs> Let's just have a show, shall we? Not too rough. <laughs> hey, you guys are being watched. You're on TV, you know that? Yeah, I talk about taking over the show. <laughs> I'm going to move Pip so I don't drop him. And I'm going to take... Oh, she's sleeping. Look how much she sleeps. She's just so tired. Them doggies don't bother her. She said, let him play, Mom. Let him play. Oh, oh, she's just so tired. Oh, look, she's been sweating. Oh, she was hot. She must have been flying around a lot. Get this out of the way, baby. She's going to set that right there. Oh, there she is, sound asleep. Let me hold her up close so you can see her in her little fairy costume. She's so cute. Her little hand. Isn't she just so sweet? Look at that baby. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the dogs got quiet. Did you notice? All right. Let me start by taking out these little rubber bands. And if you guys ever do put rubber bands in your doll's hair like this, don't just pull them out because it'll damage. I just put it around my finger like that and cut it or else I would very, very carefully untwist it. 
different. Because, I mean, I, you know, you want them to stay, but you don't want them to... Ow! Ow! The hurt, do you see? Right there, freaking hurt me. Ow. Anyways, I don't know what I'm saying. Look at this hair, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, crazy hair. Oh shoot, I don't think I brought the spray over here. Undo your wings, little sweetie girl. So, on this tiny Tuesday, I have a question for you, my friends, my lovelies. Just curious, just curious. Um, hold on. I'll put that in that box back there. <laughs> now look at this. Oh my goodness. What a mess. What a mess. My table, it's all sparkly. And there's her body construction. And she's just got, I put, uh, I put glass beads in her feet and everything. And into her body up here and all that. So. Okay. So, with her crazy hair, <laughs> gonna put this on her. I got glitter everywhere now. And I did have to pause, so I did grab the spray while I was up. <laughs> I'm just gonna put some of this in her hair so I can get it brushed out. But yeah, I wanted to ask you guys about scents. Smells. I I'm I'm real big on scent, you know. Like I'm always afraid, like I'm gonna stink or something like that, you know. I'm very aware of, or very conscious, I guess, of like body odor and stuff like that. That's not exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I'm just being, you know, telling you how specific I am, you know, about stuff, but, um, my question is, like, depending on the season, it depends on what kind of scents I like to smell, and of course, I think that's pretty much everyone, which is why, like, say they put pineapple for summer and not Christmas, you know, <laughs> but, um, I was curious, though, like, what sort of smells do you like for the seasons the different seasons that go through like for springtime um I don't know let's see springtime probably be just like sweet sugary smells you know like like oh I don't know like candy or something you know um not a huge fan of flowers and a lot of it is just because I'm allergic to a lot of flowers and stuff like that like I'm allergic to roses the smell of roses literally makes me sick to my stomach <laughs> like vom sick <laughs> yeah I do like um like gardenias and magnolias lilies lilies are actually my favorite flower i love lilies <laughs> and i like the the calla lilies the ones that look like a little cup <laughs> but uh, for summertime well i do love the smell of the rain that's kind of that's that's like a seasonal like all year round kind of thing because rain rain smells like rain you know rain is rain is rain <laughs> but uh for summertime, I like, you know, fruity scents, like cotton candy and watermelon, and uh, like strawberries, cherries, blueberries. I have this uh, wax to burn. It's called uh, Black and Blue Cobbler. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It just smells like pie. It's, uh, it is 
Oh, amazing. <laughs> That's probably my favorite scent of all time, though, is blueberry. Love the smell of blueberries. And blue is my favorite color. And we're growing blueberries. And oh, blueberries. Blueberries. I don't know. <laughs> and then for fall. Um, I do like pumpkin, but I'm not, that's not like my favorite though. Pumpkin's not my favorite. I would probably say that, uh, my favorite would be like a, um, like how a chimney smells, you know, like burning wood, burn, you know, fireplace. I love the smell of a fireplace. And then, um, coffee, of course. Warm scents like that. Caramel. I love the smell of caramel. Mel. Caramel. <laughs> anyway. Don't look at her. She's not cute yet. <laughs> Just kidding. Ooh, summer. Limes. Love the smell of lime. Lime and pineapple. Ooh, so good. The smell. And let's see. Winter. Um, sugar cookies, snickerdoodles, those kind of smells. Christmassy smells. Not too much on evergreens. I don't know, the smell of like pine and stuff like that makes me ill. A lot of stuff makes me ill. I do like the smell of peaches, but I'm allergic to peach. So, I mean, smelling it isn't going to hurt me or anything. But <laughs> it just sounded kind of funny, but yeah. So, sorry, I'm just trying to get her hair dealt with here real quick. I'm kind of... I've, I've never really played with their hair because last time I just kind of put it up in those little piggies and <laughs> left it. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Um, oh my gosh. Oh, she's so cute. One second. I'm so sorry, you guys. It's worth it, though. Trust me, it's worth it. <laughs> very, very worth it when I'm done. I like Nog Champa incense. It's the, uh, what is it, Satire or something like that. They usually have them in, like, head shops or, like, you know, piercing shops or whatever. Not the stuff you can get at Walmart. That's not the stuff. This stuff I'm talking about is in a blue box. I get it online or at the piercing shop. I have to sneeze. <coughs> Allergies. So, yeah. Um, that's That Nog Champa is really great for like fall and winter and stuff like that. Fall and winter are kind of more or less just kind of like the same sense pretty much, you know. And then, yeah, I guess it's kind of the same for spring and, and summer. I sort of like the same sense for both of those seasons. It's just like, you know, if you have to be warm and get bundled up or whatever, then you know, I like the warm scents, and if you have to, you know, not be bundled up, I like the cool scents. But yeah, not all of them, though. Not all of them, you know. Since I'm allergic to so much stuff, there's just, there's a lot of stuff that does bother me, which is why I sneeze so doggone much. But, um, yeah. Get this little thing on her. 
being careful for her little fingies. There we go. Okay. Man, <clears throat> are, are you guys having allergy problems? I'm having terrible, terrible allergy problems. Oh, my nose is itching so bad. I cannot even tell you. And this happens every time the seasons change. My allergies go berserk. And, you know, it's like, it may still be hotter than blazes outside, but, you know, my nose knows what's going on. <laughs> so, it's like, you can't deny that. But, oh, it just tickles so bad. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. I had, I'm trying to think. I can't kneel, not even think. My nose is itching so bad. I can't even get together what I was thinking about. I'm like, what What happened to my topic? Oh my gosh. Oh, blah, blah. these allergies got me like, whoa. I'm telling you. <sighs> Look at my little sweetie. Look at, there's her with her binky. Her little soother pacifier. get her held up here for you guys and take this out oh and she is the replica of wee mouse i did forget to say that she's a replica kit heart so sleepy oh she's not gonna wake up she's not gonna wake up for nothing she's just gonna sleep all night yeah past her bedtime now Sorry guys, my mom waited too long to do the video. Could have had me awake, but I fell asleep. What do you guys think? Let me get her close. Oh. <laughs> I hope she was worth the wait. <laughs> and now, let me get her little seat. Bring her seat back. This is her little blanket. Mel sent this to her. Well, she sent it to us and we used it for her. <laughs> but that's from Auntie Mel, so we thought it would be nice to bring it in the video to say thank you, Auntie Mel. She uh, had that in part of our happy mail she sent us. Oh, set my little nugget down there. There we go. Her little hat's going down over her eyes. Sorry, guys. Just give me a second. Please, thank you. And we bring Pip back. And here's her little soother. There we go. All right. So, yes, I wanted to tell you guys once again, thank you so much for this, the name suggestions for Gia's Bunny. And uh, I did have a hard time choosing. There were so many cute names. I, I went kind of back and forth with a couple of them. But um, I have decided to call this bunny of Gia's hashtag. And that was a suggestion by Miss Tilly Bowman. And her Instagram is Tilly.Bowman391. If you want to go over there and show our Miss Tilly some love. And let her know what a cute name suggestion that she gave us for this sweet bunny. So everyone say hi to hashtag. I just kind of thought that, you know, since Gia was the first baby I ever got, this was the first bunny I ever got, you know, I just thought hashtag was fitting. I, I, I liked that a lot. So <laughs> that's great. Thank you, Tilly. I love you so much. And I love this name and I love this bunny. Gia loves it too. She said, thank you, Aunt Tilly. So yeah, that's our... Uh... That's our, our name reveal for the bunny. And there's little, little Pippa Luke and Pip all snuggled up, ready for sleep in her fancy dress. Yeah, she's going to sleep in a dress. You know, that happens around here in the fairy town. Ta ta um, yeah, words. 
I don't know. Something. Something happened. <laughs> okay. So let's quickly go over what's coming up on my channel. I've got the TNT 500 subscriber giveaway. And you will be winning Reborn Baby Flo. Um, she will come with a box opening and some little nice surprises. That is a giveaway sponsored by myself and my best friend, Tamorial. I also have a live detailed nursery tour coming up. And I have decided when I'm going to do it. It's tentative plans. But basically, I want to be able to do it without... Um, my dogs in here playing and going crazy and all that kind of stuff. So basically it's going to be the first cool-ish Sunday where I can let my dogs outside and where they can stay outside for the length of the tour and not the heat won't bother them, you know. So it might be a couple of weeks, but that's kind of I was just going to let you guys know that that's kind of what I'm waiting on is uh, a cool day. So I'm watching my temperatures <laughs> like I always do. <laughs> so uh, that's the plan for the live nursery tour. It will be detailed. I want to show you guys some stuff, show you around, show you how I do some things around here. <laughs> and also, let's not forget my fun new hashtag that I started this past Friday, August 5th was the very first time that we did fun for Friday. And I hope you guys really enjoyed that. I'm um, looking forward to this Friday coming up. I've got something a little special planned. I hope, I've been so busy. Hopefully it'll, it'll work out. And uh, also there's the, uh, well, it's the super secret mega VIP collab, but is it so much a secret anymore? It's a secret. Tell everyone. Tell your friends. Tell your dolls. <laughs> and who's coming to the nursery? Hmm. Guess you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> I also have another secret that I'm not going to reveal yet. But I hope you guys love it when I do reveal it. And make sure you come back tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. And on Wednesdays we wear pink. And I know Pippa Luke is ready for that too. She's going to be hanging out watching. Because we have a name revealed tomorrow. So come back if you want to see what the new little one's name is. And also Tamoria will get her first surprise tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you guys for joining me today for Tiny Reborn Tuesday. And let's send lots of love and happy healing to our sweet Mel at Mel Amore Nursery. Did I already say Mel Amore Nursery? I don't know. Mel. Mel, Mel, Mel. Mel, Mel, Mel. mel. <laughs> okay, hashtag really liked that. Hashtag said, thank you, Miss Tilly. Love you. <laughs> but I hope I was able to uh, lighten your load a bit, bring a smile to your face, maybe make you giggle a little bit, get silly, play with some toys. <laughs> but I appreciate all the love and support you guys show me and all the motivation that you give me and the inspiration. I, I, I couldn't do this without you. You guys make it all possible. If you enjoyed yourself today, consider hitting that like and subscribe. And if uh, I heard if you hit the like and the subscribe and the notification bell, that something magical will happen. <laughs> Alright, love you guys. See you tomorrow.